Isaac's a pretty average nine-year-old. I like doing computers, swimming. With one extraordinary start in life. Isaac was born 13 weeks premature, then suffered a massive brain hemorrhage, something that can happen with premature babies. We didn't give up hope. We just prayed about it. They decided their son would be one of the first babies to take part in a pioneering experiment in the hope of reducing the risk of severe brain damage. Doctors here warned Isaac's parents there was only a 1% chance their baby would even survive. So when they heard about the new procedure, they felt they had nothing to lose. Two tubes are inserted into the baby's brain. One continually drains the old blood, debris, and toxins from the hemorrhage. The second tube slowly pumps clean, artificial fluid in. Gradually, the fluid runs clear, indicating the brain-damaging toxins are gone. The inside of the brain is literally washed out. It's a bit like having a sink with a lot of um, coffee grounds in it, which are clogging up the, the, the drainage of the sink. In a recently published study of 77 premature babies who had bleeding in the brain after birth, those treated with the technique were far less likely to suffer disabilities later in life. Doctors say Isaac's development speaks for itself. I now have a surfboard. You have a surfboard? Yeah, but I use it as a bodyboard. Yeah. Because it's faster. <laughs> it stems across the water. And he's determined that nothing will hold him back. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, Bristol, England.